the question we are trying to answer here is what is the distance traveled by an object in a particular second so let's take an example let's say we have a object of mass m and initial velocity is zero at location a force applied body accelerates with constant acceleration a for time t and its final velocity v becomes v and this v is given by u plus a t constant acceleration for time t now the distance traveled by the object is a b and a b would be given by s is equal to u t plus half a t square so you would be able to find out a b but what i want to know is that if it is a journey of t seconds in a particular second or let's say let's say, say for sake of example let t is equal to 5 seconds so this is the distance covered in the first second let us say this is the distance covered in two second this third second this is the fourth second and let's say this is the distance in five seconds. i have deliberately take taken increasing distances because it is accelerating so its velocity would increase and in every second the distance it covers would keep on increasing so if i want to find out the distance covered by the object in a particular second let us say this is the first second this is the second second third in the fourth second i want to find that out so how do we find that out the distance covered in a particular second so what we do is we take s t is equal to u t plus half a t square i have it in the same equation again so the total distance traveled from point a in t seconds is u t plus half a t square and the distance traveled in s in t minus 1 second would be s t minus 1 again starting from point a the distance traveled in t minus 1 second would be u into t minus 1 plus half a into t minus 1 whole square so if i call this point as c d e f so i want to find out the distance uh, the distance covered in the fourth second so st would be up to 4 seconds so i would take time is equal to 4 seconds so i would get af this 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 would be equal to af and st minus 1 would, would be the time the distance covered in 3 seconds so it this would be equal to ae and if i subtract these two i would get the distance covered in the fourth second ef thus i can write down ef the distance covered in the fourth second would be ef is equal to af minus ae which will be equal to ut plus half a t square minus u into t minus 1 plus half a t minus 1 whole square. So now let us simplify this particular part. So here I would get minus ut minus u plus a by 2 into t square minus 2t plus 1 and this would be equal to minus ut minus u plus a t square by 2 minus this would be equal to a by 2 into 2t so this would be equal to a t plus a by 2. And if I put is equal to what is, is equal to u t plus half a t square, and I simplify it further, so I would get u t plus a t square by two minus u t plus u minus a t square by two plus a t minus a by two so what what can gets cancelled out u t u t would get cancelled out a t square a t square would get cancelled out and i would be left with u plus a t minus a by two and that i can write as is equal to u plus if I take out a by 2 common in this I will get 2t minus 1 so ef is equal to u plus a upon 2 minus t minus 1 so this formula gives me the distance covered in the tth second 
So if I want to find out the distance covered in the fourth second, I put p equal to four, and initial velocity u a by two minus one. This would give me the distance covered in the tth second. So this is the formula for finding out the distance covered in any particular second. If you want to find out the distance covered in the in this particular second, then you take AD minus AC in a similar fashion and you would get it. Of course, you would not have to do this entire exercise. You can use this equation that we have obtained and find out the distance covered by an object in any particular second. Thank you.